It's that zest to flow, no, she must flow Yeah, 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 yeah What's up guys, it's your boy Grimlock Gaming and um, today we are going to be using the Kenworth W900L. So this truck was updated to 1.34 but it works on 1.35, there's just a little problem with the secondary 72 inch and 86 inch cab. Um, so you're going to have to use the very first cab. But today we're going to be using it alongside the utility uh, custom utility 3000 R trailer by Cerrito Mods. There is one by Dro Modding, but I realize that it needs work and it's giving me a lot of lag because the doors at the back, these doors here, will open whenever you unhook the trailer and before you hook it up. So I had to get rid of that mod. So I'm just going to back the trailer in right now and um, I'm going to get this trip on the road so I will catch you guys in a bit Oh my gosh, why couldn't have that been the door? That would have been perfect just now. Now I gotta pull forward and um, come back in. Actually, I have an idea. All right, here we go. It's not perfect, but it'll have to do. getting 50 frames inside 50 54 actually
I stuck? No, I'm not stuck. It's just that the collision seemed to be off because I'm not touching the, the fence. Nothing coming from that side. Oh yeah, by the way guys, the Project 350, I will be doing a video right after this one on that truck and its trailer because um, it's a really good trailer and I'll give a shout out to the guys who made it because it's a really great um, truck and trailer. It's worth the money that you spent for it, spend for it as well. Also, there's a lot of lag in Portland, or I think it's just a trailer, to be honest, because, um, as you guys saw yesterday, I had to be playing around with my sweet effects, because, um, there's something wrong with that wrecker, so I don't know. Maybe it's just a trailer, because, um, sometimes ATS doesn't like my, my computer. I can switch off the indicator now.
Well, looks like we've got a detour coming up. There's a car that caught on fire. I hope that guy's okay. Boy, here comes a hairpin turn. I almost stalled the truck and then now I missed the light! Nice! Oh boy. Um... So, I've, I've been thinking, guys, maybe we should do some ETS-2 owner-operator series, but I'm going to have to need a, I'm going to need a Peterbilt 389 first. So, I'm going to reach out to one of my friends and ask him to help me out with that so that I can start with some ETS-2 because, um, to be honest, over there, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more, um, Scenic. It's the scenic route as they call it. Our customer expects our delivery soon, so please make sure you arrive on time. Yes, I will arrive on time. Just give me a minute, game. So yeah, guys, um, I've been thinking about that, and I think it's a good idea. So I'm just going to reach out to one of my friends later and ask him to help me out with a 389 for ETS-2. And then we can get some scenic routes running. Because ATS, eh, it's good, but to be honest, it's kind of getting boring, so I'm just going to ask him to help me out with that, and then we'll see what happens from there.
And uh, that's the incorrect horn. Well, guys, thank you for coming out and watching the video. Oh, wait, before I forget, there's something, someone I would like you all to meet. This is Rex. Rex, sorry. He protects me from DOT. So whenever I'm speeding, DOT can't mess with me because Rex is in the truck. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.